Have you guys been advertised by Timu? Because I ordered. <laughs> I hadn't seen Facebook or Instagram advertisements, but I had seen some other YouTubers unbagging Timu products, so I was interested. Okay, here are my criteria. I didn't wanna pay over $6 for an item. <laughs> And I tried to stay five and under. This bag is two videos. One for my other channel. And then one for this channel. Yes, I got sunscreen. Yes, I got UV clothing. So we're gonna unbag it and we're gonna see if it's any good while my cats run around behind me. Now, it's not taped very well. It looks like it was opened, but I think this did go through customs. <laughs> so maybe customs opened it. So I'm just gonna... Just gonna do this. All right, I'm gonna pull stuff out. If it is for the other channel, meaning if it's like a cat toy or if it's a game or a toy, I'm gonna put it off to the side. But if it's sunscreen or UV protective items, we're gonna we're gonna unbox it right here. Cat toy. Cat toy. Okay, here we go. UV gloves. So we're just gonna unwrap. These do not feel UV. Did I get something that wasn't UV? I thought these were UV arm, <laughs> arm thingamajigs. Arm thingamajigs? Sean, that's not a thing. How does this go? This is a very silky material and I put it on the wrong hand. I was imagining like driving gloves. <laughs> I don't know that I'm this girly, you guys. I don't know that I'm this girly. They feel very soft, but there's, and there's like a pearl and a bow and some crystals. Yeah. This isn't for me. <laughs> This is, this isn't for me, this is too girly. Too girly. Oh, hold on. What's happening? <laughs> I mean, I guess with the right dress? You driving, girly driving? <laughs> I don't know. Let, let me know, let me know. For me, that's a thumbs down, it's too girly. Okay, this is for the other channel. Other channel, we have a sunscreen. SPF 50 plus Bay Tree Skin. Oil control, double protection, 1.015 fluid ounces. Intensive, long lasting sunscreen. All right, so let me know if you guys want like full dedicated videos. And I'm popping the price point up. Remember, everything was five US dollars or less. Lightweight matte finish. Ooh, I know a lot of us are looking for matte. So let me know. I'll probably do a video where I show you all of these at one time. Yeah, it's a matte sunscreen. Okay, I'm just gonna unbox and then we'll do a separate video where I try these out. If you wanna see that, let me know. All right, here we have another UV protective gloves. And these, honestly, they look like ones that I was given when I was first diagnosed with melanoma. Yeah, these look almost identical to those. So these are like a light purple. Yeah, I will use these for driving. They have like a grip, a mesh grip here. And then they have lots of perforation in between your fingers and on the palm of your hand for like sweat. Uh, but then on the tops, they're very, they're UV protective. So, oh, and this finger ha even has, which my other ones don't, they have for your phone. They have so you could actually use your phone with them. Yeah, I'm gonna put these in my car today because my other ones don't have this little finger option. Very cool. I like these a lot. They're made out of 95% polyester and 5% spandex and you can wash them. Okay, cool beans. Another sunscreen, Japan Sakura sunscreen. SPF 50 PA++++. This one, the third ingredient is titanium dioxide. So I'm thinking this one is a hybrid sunscreen. 
what was the other one? This other one also hybrid. The one, two, three, the fourth ingredient is titanium dioxide in this one. Let's see what the bottle looks like. This is more, more ounces, 1.76. Here's the box here. Okay, it comes out in a pink bottle, lightweight, whitening UV protection, non-greasy, but it doesn't say if it's supposed to be moisturizing or not. Again, let me know if you want to see these sunscreens. What did I get this for? Oh, I can show you this one. I got this for the car. I don't know about you, but sometimes when I'm sitting in car line, <laughs> I notice, I notice the uh, dust on the dashboard, but I have nothing to clean it with and my arms are too short. Okay, this is already getting green floofs on me. How do I put this on? Okay, I would not get this. This doesn't actually fit. Wait, wait, wait. I think I got it. I think I got it. And then this goes. All right, so <laughs> I'll let you know if this works. I might have put the handle on upside down to get the dust off of the dashboard in the car. This looks like clothing. Polyester, oh, a sunscreen shawl. It's very soft, but definitely poly polyester. <laughs> Okay, this is a UV sunscreen shawl, and I want to say it only came in one, si one size. Um, I'll pop up here, me trying it out, <laughs> if I like it or not. <laughs> it does have thumb holes, and it's gray. Did I get gray? I don't know. I don't know if I like this or not. This is fun, though. Okay, what is this? Oh, this is a hat. This is a UV hat. Remember, $5 or less. I've got cats. I've got cats in my lap. What you doing, mama? Oh, you just decided to sit on the, on the scissors. Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see here. It's pink. It's very foldable. It has a plaid under the visor. It does have a tag. It doesn't say what UPF it is, but it just says UV. It does have a neck thing. Feels very thin and lightweight. Let's do it, let's do it. This reminds me of the other one that I have that I like, but this is very thin. What do you think? <laughs> I mean, it might make a good beach hat. And it's got the neck coverage, which I actually like for the summer. What do you think? <laughs> it's definitely packable. I like it. I like it. I like it. Let's see what's in here. That's a cat toy for the other video. Should we give the cats a cat toy though? It's a little fish. It's a little fish, but it's not sewn together very well. I don't know if you could see. It's not sewn together very well at all. All right, who wants the fish? Whoosh, whoosh. Who's going to get the fish? She's interested. She's interested in the fish. Oh, another sunscreen. This one is SPF 50 PA++ refreshing sunscreen. Watery UV protection. This looks like all, all chemical. All right, so here's this one. A couple more sunscreen. I got a lot of sunscreen. Because <laughs> some of them were like a dollar or two dollars. Here's another sunscreen. This one says bronze foundation. I don't remember picking this one out. SPF 50. Oh, this is a foundation. A foundation with SPF 50. I am excited about this one, but I wonder how bronze it is. <laughs> the ingredient list is covered up, so I can't read it there. Made in China. How do we feel about stuff made in China? And then I got this one, sun cream SPF 90. PA++++, oil-free, moisturizing, and non-sticky. It has a shelf life, it says, of three years. Note, if there is any discomfort in the use process, stop using it. Do not enter into the eyes. Okay, it's got warnings. It's got, it's got warning labels on the back. This is chemical because it has octanoxate in it. It also has mica. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, this one, I don't remember getting this one. SPF 50 anti-aging. This one does have titanium dioxide as the third ingredient. 
So I'm assuming this one is also hybrid. I don't remember getting all these. This is the BB cream. Yeah, I don't remember getting this one. I remember getting this one as a BB cream. Rose flower extract, that might be a problem for me. I don't remember them showing the ingredients on the website. I think it's why I got so many. 1.06, it's an ivory, 110. So this one did come in shades and it's made in China. Okay, I did get some hair ties and they're just um, all shades of brown and cream. You get 50 pieces. And these are the hair ties that don't, they're kind of like pantyhose. They feel like, they feel like nylon pantyhose to me, but they'll be really good. They don't like mess up your hair or any of that. So I just got a big pack of those. I got, what are these? UV, oh, these are some more. Okay, these are more my speed. <laughs> these are some UV arm, but it says let's Silum. What does that say? Is that the brand? Okay, these are a little bit a little bit scratchy, but they're warm. Okay, they're thin, but they feel like they might be hot in the summer because they feel like tights. They feel like tights on my arm, so I don't know. We'll see. And then we got this one. What is this? Oh, this is another hat. <laughs> this is not a UV hat. This was just a hat I was curious about. <laughs> It's a bucket hat. Okay. It has like a ribbed texture on the outside. It's fake fur lined all the way in. And then it's got this nubby texture on the inside. I don't know if you can see. It's like a nubby texture. <laughs> what are you guys doing down there? This is going to look ridiculous for me, isn't it? I do not recommend this. <laughs> my hair is still drying too. It's My hair's wet. I'm letting it air dry today. That was not cute. That, that was, that was not cute. I'm stupid. <laughs> it's supposed to go this way. It looks much cuter this way than it did this way. That looks stupid. <laughs> it's so much better this way. Why did I think, why, why did I think it was supposed to go the other way? Why? That's so much cuter. I might actually wear it this way. What do you think? <laughs> I got this for the car. Actually, I think I got two. I got two of them. A pink and a black one because I'm going to give one to my husband for his car. But this is supposed to be one of those. It's like a keychain. But just in case you get locked in your car, you're supposed to be able to like punch through the glass and cut your seatbelt. There's like a little blade here. I'm gonna have to play around with this more to figure it out, but there's a blade here for cutting your seatbelt, and then you're supposed to be able to punch through your glass of your, of your window. And that's it.